Hola y muy buenos días a todo el mundo. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson, the focus of which is going to be given opinions of school subjects. Your success criteria are to understand different opinion phrases and also to understand short written texts in Spanish. Let's get started. Whilst you're using this video resource, you'll see the following icons. We have the pause video icon, which is self-explanatory. That means you need to stop the video so that you can move on to one of the next things that are on the screen, either the emoji for thinking about a point or a question that has been raised. And if you see the writing icon or the keyboard icon, that means you've got to complete uh, an exercise or a task. On this slide, we have our very first sentence builder of the school topic. The way a sentence builder works is really simple. If you take one thing, one item from each column, starting from the left, going to the right, you're always going to end up with a correct sentence in Spanish. Even if it doesn't totally make sense in English, it's always going to make sense in Spanish. So imagine that we ask you that question at the top of the screen. ¿Te gusta el español? ¿Te gusta el español? Do you like Spanish? If we take one item from each column on the screen, we're going to be able to make a correct sentence. Let's do some examples. I could say, Personalmente a mí me encanta el español. Personally, I love Spanish. Or we could say, A mí me gusta mucho el español. I really like Spanish. Personalmente a mí me gusta el español. Personally, I like Spanish. A mí no me gusta el español. I don't like Spanish. Personalmente a mí no me gusta nada el español. Personally, I really don't like Spanish. There are some other options in the yellow boxes. For I hate something, you say odio. For example, odio el español. Or, if you're asked that question, ¿Te gusta el español? You might want to say that, yes, Spanish is my favourite subject. In Spanish you would say, Sí, el español es mi asignatura preferida. Asignatura preferida. We're now going to do some listening practice. So grab a piece of paper and on it, write the numbers from one to five. I'm going to read out five sentences in Spanish and you've got to translate it into English. Make sure that you pause the video after each sentence to give you time to write it down in English. Refer to the sentence builder, which is going to be on the screen if you really need to. If you need to listen to the sentence again, you can rewind the video and listen as many times as you need to. Let's get started. Sentence number one. A mí no me gusta la música. A mí no me gusta la música. Sentence number two. Personalmente a mí me encanta la informática. Personalmente a mí me encanta la informática. Sentence number three. A mí me gusta mucho el inglés. A mí me gusta mucho el inglés. Sentence number four. El teatro es mi asignatura preferida. 
El teatro es mi asignatura preferida. Sentence number five. Personalmente a mí no me gusta nada la geografía. Personalmente a mí no me gusta nada la geografía. Now let's check our answers. The answer to number one was, to me, I don't like music. Remember that the to me isn't really translated in English, but I want you to remember that it's there in Spanish. Number two, personally to me, I love computing or I love IT. Number three, to me, I really like English. Number four, drama is my favourite subject. Number five, personally to me, I really don't like geography. And I'll say it one more time, the to me in each of those sentences isn't really translated when we say it in English. All right, but it's there in Spanish. You've now got an assignment to complete on Microsoft Teams. The assignment is called School Subjects Opinions. There you'll find a Word document attached. It's a narrow reading document, which I'll create another video to show you how that works. You've got to read four short texts, which are all very similar. And you have to say which person says each statement. When you've completed that, press hand in on Microsoft Teams. I'll check your work, give you some feedback and you know how well you've done. I hope this is very clear today. If you have any questions, make sure you ask in the question and answer channel on the 3S2 Microsoft Teams. And until then, have a pleasant week. See you later.